Hey y'all, here we are sewing up some darts. I marked my dart in yellow, so it's a little hard to see, but I never do anything too, too bold, just in case. I like to turn my bodice so that I am going to the right, because I'm right-handed and I'm used to putting pins in that way. I start at the apex and then I move to the side seam. What I do is I make sure my pin is poking through the line that I marked on both the front and the back. I give it a quick fold right here so that it kind of aligns my dart all together. Always making sure my pin is poking through right directly in the center of that marked line, both on the front and the back. I have my fabric right side together as I'm pinning. Forgot to mention that. See, I missed a little bit here, so I'm just adjusting so that my pin is perfectly on that line. I like to make sure that my pins are going the right way so that as I'm sewing, I can remove them easily. I'm gonna change my stitch length to a two, and I like to have a centered needle. I stitch right on that line, and I remove my pin super slowly, just in front of that needle so that it's holding the fabric in place as long as possible. When you get to the apex here, I like to sew right off the fabric without back stitching. This helps any bobbles of back stitching if your stitch isn't exactly on top of your other stitch. And then I just tie off these threads here instead of back stitching. So I give a quick tie and then trim them off instead of back stitching to make sure I have a nice smooth exit off the fabric. Okay, you can see my stitch line is right on that marked line. Now we're gonna take it for a press. This is a very important step of the dart. You're gonna press all around the dart, making sure your fabric is nice and smooth all around it. I like to press my dart up, then I like to press it down. Then we're gonna flip it over and press it from the front. You wanna make sure your dart is fully opened on the front. So you see, I kind of use my iron to shimmy it to make sure it's nice and open. There's no fold inside there. I'm gonna turn it around, press it one more time along the seam line and down. And then for our very last press, I like to grab my tailor's hand. If you have a tailor's hand, they come in handy. Ironing and pressing anything with a curve this is actually a pretty boxy bodice, but it's still a nice way to get a good, clean exit from the dart to the main bodice without any kind of puckering. And there you go.